Hello, fellow Global Set collectors. This is uh, Micah, also known on social media as Raging River. And I thought today I'd show off uh, two of the sets I've been working on for a while. I also have a complete Global Set of Raging River, the card. Um, although, since that's only like four cards, I thought that would be less interesting to show. Um, so I'll start with um, a near Global Set of Prodigal Sorcerer. I'm only missing one card, which I've been missing for years, and I'll talk about that in a minute. First, the kind of the pride and joy is an altered alpha uh, prodigal sorcerer after our favorite sorcerer, Tim, from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. It's a great Doug Schuler altar that I commissioned myself a couple years back. So that's from my cube. Uh, and here's the, the rest of the global set. So I have, let me get focused here. Come on. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, sorry about the glare. We have, um, so for each set, what I tried to do is for the English version, I have a, an unsigned and then one that's either signed or even better altered from each set. So here's Alpha, Beta, Unlimited, CE, International Edition, Revised English, um, and then I have unsigned for the foreign languages. So here's, and here's Summer, all the revised foreign uh, white and black border. Now we're into fourth edition. And fifth edition. Oh, I didn't show. I also I also have a fourth edition Alpha Cut. Uh, I know revised Alpha Cut exists, but that that one I don't have. Fifth edition. Sixth edition. Battle Royale. The FNM promo. And now we're into 7th edition. The 7th edition one is, um, I haven't gotten signatures yet. That's why those are upside down. Uh, and here's the only one I'm missing. 7th edition foil Portuguese. Which uh, I know the other prodigal sorcerer collectors are also looking for. Everyone's looking for that one. It's really hard to find. Um, here's Time Spiral. Time Spiral. Uh, Non-foil and foil. And then Eternal Masters. And then here at the end I have just a couple of misprints. Um, I have some color errors from Eternal Masters. There's a foil cut line on this. Uh, it's hard to see on the camera. There's a foil cut line down here on this 7th edition Japanese. Um, I've got a, I think this one's an error on the back. Yeah, you see here, this is uh, Italian, I think it's Italian 4th edition. Normal cut front with a very miscut back. Uh, these are just some some extras I have, and also a very off center Spanish seventh foil. Uh, so that's my Prodigal Sorcerer collection. And then the other thing I wanted to show you guys is something I've been working on a long time, which is a complete set of pre-2000 promotional cards. So my criteria for collecting this set is basically I'm trying to get one of every card that you could not get in a booster pack. So some of them are from magazines, some of them are from um, events, and uh, anyway, so sorry for the handmade labels. I quickly made these. I, I have to do it up in a nicer way at some point. But we have here the Armada Comic promos from 1994. And then the Harper Prism book promos. Um, so again, English is signed and the non-English ones are not. Um, I do have the Portuguese of uh, everything, which is... Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, the Portuguese of everything, which is really, really hard to find. Um, the one I am missing is the ultra, ultra rare Italian Arena. And Italian Sewers of Estark. Um, again, I've been looking for those for years, and they're very, very rare. I um, also have this nice, I got a marked it in 
to alter my English Mana Crypt um, after 2001 A Space Odyssey. That's that's the inspiration for that alter. So there's that. Then we have the, the first ever promo card, I believe, um, which was Sarah Angel, or one of the first foil promo cards anyway. That's Sarah Angel. We've got the Gata Japanese Magazine inserts. The alternate art, uh, Jamoran Lions from Visions, with the close-up art for uh, German and for Italian. Theoretically, there may also be a Japanese version, though no one's, uh, I don't think anyone's ever seen one in, in the wild. Uh, we've got the alternate art scent of Cinder, uh, the player's guide insert, uh, Warmonger card, and then we have the Nalothany Dragons, uh, the original Dragon Fest one, and then also the kind of apology Japanese card for people who were pissed off. Um, anyway, interesting history on that promo. We've got the RPG inserts, uh, the Japanese subtle changes to the text um, for the Japanese magazine R um, RPG. On the left is the promo version, uh, and on the right is the traditional version. I need to pick up a, a real, a regular version of of the night here. Um, I am missing um, a Japanese promo version of the Shielding Drink. I, Drake, I've, I've opened magazines and looked for years and still looking for that one. Uh, we have the all the APAC sets, red, blue, and clear. Uh, that one's just out for signature, but I'm trying to get a complete set assigned. And that's that's my current project, is getting everything signed. We have the Eurolands. Again, blue, red, and clear, or purple. Um, the easiest signatures I've already gotten, I'm missing Scott Bailey and Eric Peterson, which I've, I've never seen. I don't know if they exist. Uh, signed Eurolands by them. The Junior Super Series, all of the Judge gift cards. Uh, and they are all signed except for the Stroke of Genius, which Stephen famously only signs a very, very, very limited number, one a year of those. So I'll work on that. We've got the 1999 World Championship cards. These are both signed, uh, the DCI Legends. And then we have the Arena League cards from the 90s, the land set, beautiful art, the promo disenchant, which no one's ever been able to get signed. Um, and then the 1999 Arena, Arena Leagues, I have both the, the big star version and the regular star version of each one. Uh, and also the, the no expansion symbol version of the island. We also have both, uh, both known versions of the Karn Silver Golem, the light mana symbol, and the regular. The rest of the promos here, most of them signed. I still got a few signatures to get. Um, all three mana symbol versions of Chill. Got a nice, uh, I, I got uh, Dan Frazier to alter my Enlightened Tutor promo. It's a great card for EDH, an EDH deck. We've got the all the original pre-release promos from the 90s. Um, from the first one, um, both versions of Lubu. I do have the False Prophet um, signed um, and the Longbow Archer signed by Eric Peterson, which are pretty hard to find. Uh, and then these are technically FNM from 2000. But the copyright date is 99, so I picked them up as well for the set, but even though they weren't given out till 2000. And then, not from the 90s, but, or actually, yeah, the 90s are the, the Guru lands, uh, the most beautiful basic lands ever made, in my opinion. Um, I also got a Magic Guru card signed by um, Ms. Nielsen to, just to go with the set. Um, and then finally, not from the 90s, but uh, stretching into the early 2000s, we have the full set of the unique language promos. That Wizards did, and this one I do have complete signed. So, those are my sets. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and look forward to seeing everybody else's collections. Take care.